Hey, it's me again, YouTube, or Carla, or Changing 56, and it's still January the 7th, 2013. And this is a response video for uh, for Jennifer or Siva, S-I-V-A, Siva418. She had done um, a, a video a couple of weeks ago challenging people to track their food and do a response video. Well, I promised her I'd do it. I just didn't get it done in a timely fashion. I always track my food, but... Um, I thought I would do the response video and show y'all what I do, which I what I do is a little different. I always track my food. It's been the way I keep up with stuff, but I do it in a notebook, and I don't do it on my Fitness Pal or Spark People, which I think is what Jennifer does hers on, um, or did hers on for the week. Um, I do it in a notebook. It allows me to be a little creative and, and do some things. I, you know, I include my prayer request in here. I have articles that I read that are important to me, you know, um, things that I find that I just want to keep up with. Sometimes I have recipes in here. So I'll just kind of show you, and I hope, you know, yeah, this works. We'll see. Um, this is my new um, 2013, The Journey Continues. Then I've just got, like, my monthly weight loss, you know, how much I, I've lost each month since I've had surgery. It's been six months since I had surgery. Then I have my measurements, which I haven't done my measurements. I need to do that again. And this is the page um, I do, and it has every day, and I have my weight, my calories, my protein, if I check my sugar, how many miles I've done or how much exercise I've done, and how many ounces of water. So that helps me to really keep up. Um, this is my goal page for 2013. And this is, uh, this is how I do every day. I have the date. I have a column for vitamins, water, protein, calories, and food. Um, and then I just write whatever notes. How many, um, how much I weighed, um, how much I weighed, and I know this might be too much information, but I think y'all understand if I had a bowel movement or not, how much exercise I've got in, you know, anything that, that I need to remember or to keep up with. Um, then there's a recipe, you know, I did some recipes, um, wrote notes. I'm in the Back to Basics Transformation Academy uh, Challenge. There's some notes on that. Um, then this is my, my Wednesday. And here's kind of an example of of um, what I eat and how many calories I get in. I'm not getting quite enough calories in or not every day and, and I'm trying to pick that up but I normally have a protein shake um, for uh, breakfast or sometime during the day. I eat a lot of string cheese that works well for me. It's just me here by myself and I, I don't cook a lot. I mean you know for somebody that had a tea room and a <coughs> restaurant and catering business, excuse me, and cooked all the time. I very rarely cook now. Um, anyway, a protein shake, a lot of string cheese. I do some lunch meat like ham and turkey. This day I had a protein shake, cheese, cheese a two different kinds of cheese, ham and turkey, blueberries, a protein bar, and more cheese. I didn't have anything that I cooked that day, which is not not always good, but I think I was busy walking or doing something. Anyway, I got in 772 calories, um, 79.4 protein, and 75 ounces of water. And I also have a cal co uh, column for my vitamins to make sure that I take those um, every day. Um, so that was that was actually last Wednesday. Um, here are some other things, health benefits of green tea, um, some books that I would really like to read. Um, these are just things from magazines that, you know, that I found that I, that I didn't read at the time or that I did read and had some good information about it that um, I, I wanted to keep up with. Um, my prayer list, and some of y'all are on that prayer list. Um, Thursday, um, January the 3rd, I had a shake for breakfast. Um, I actually did cook a little bit that day. I did hamburger meat with um, peppers and onions and tomatoes and kind of made it a little soupy. Um, 
and I ate that, actually I ate that for several days, and that was really good. Um, cheese, ham and turkey, again some blueberries and a protein bar. Because I got the hamburger meat in that day, and the cheese was not string cheese, it was a little more, I got in 922 calories, 98.8 protein, and 87 ounces of water. Um, that was last Thursday. Then I've got, you know, more stuff in here from, from different magazines. Um, just things that, that I keep track of. Um, Friday, I had, actually I did good eating that day. Um, because, let's see, how much did I walk? 40, 20, 15, um, an hour and 15 minutes. So, you know, but I have walked a couple, a couple of days last week that I did two hours, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, Friday I had, um, I started for breakfast with the hamburger stuff. I had the hamburger with the with the vegetables in it. I had cheese. I had a protein bar. I had some beef jerky, uh, string cheese, the hamburger again, and um, another protein bar. I had 1,054 calories, 101.4 protein, and 90 ounces of water. So that was good. Now, um, got several things in here but Saturday I didn't do so well and I'll tell you what happened um, Saturday I had a protein shake for breakfast I had the hamburger with some collard greens that were left from New Year's Day and had yogurt that was 602 calories not enough to start with but then I walked solid for two hours and I also had my insulin it was 70 grams of protein so, sometime during the night, I thought when I went to bed that Zoe was just a little agitated. She knew that I was not doing well. She woke me up. She was on top of me, whining. My sugar bottomed out. I had to get up, um, and she was fine after I got up, but she's my lifesaver. I'm telling y'all, she's not a trained therapy dog, but she knows when her mama's in trouble. So she woke me up, and I got up, and I thought, what am I going to eat? I don't have anything in this house. I mean, I literally, I don't keep anything here that, you know, really has sugar in it. But I remembered the blueberries, and so I ate about a cup of blueberries to bring my sugar back up. So that was lesson learned, dumb, dumb thing to do, walking two hours and not having very many calories and taking insulin. So that was Saturday. Yesterday, I had a much better day. Um... Yesterday was Sunday. I had um, 802 calories and 76 protein. Didn't do quite as good on the water. I had 58 ounces of water. Um, so most days I get in between 700 and 1,000 calories. Um, and I, Jennifer, you know, she talks about she loves the carbs and you know it works for her and you do Jennifer you do whatever works for you I can't eat carbs have never been able to although I love there's things that pre-op that I love that I just don't do anymore for me it was a health issue um, the only way I've ever been able to lose weight even pre-surgery was to do high protein and and very few carbs because my body takes everything carb related and turns it into sugar before um, before surgery my sugar was y'all don't I mean you know my a1c was 13 and if you're a diabetic you know I mean that's not good that's not good at all <laughs> um, the last time I had it done it was down to seven so this works for me and I'm hoping, I go to the doctor this week and he'll do it again and I'm hoping it's going to be even lower. And I'm hoping to get off a part of my insulin because I, <clears throat> there was a point, I think y'all know, that I, that, that I had issues of bottoming out and I kind of leveled out and now again I'm starting to do that again. So hopefully, eventually I will totally be off the insulin. Most people come off the insulin, you know, right after surgery, they're automatically not a diabetic anymore. But I've been a diabetic over 20 years, been taking insulin for over 20 years. So it was pretty serious. I mean, that's why I did the surgery in the first place. 
And I said all that to say, you do what works for you, Jennifer. Carbs work for you, and they seem to work for you, and you, you know, you go for it. Whatever works for you. This is your journey, and, you know, this is my journey. This is what works for me. I'm almost at goal. You know, eventually I'm going to start, you know, adding some things in, adding some more calories, especially since I'm exercising more. But I've been pretty driven mainly because of my health. I mean, I was not in a good place this time last year. High blood pressure, my sugar, my liver, my kidneys. Um, I have a stent in my heart. I, ha I mean, you know, I weighed on the lower end of the BMI, I, you know, I, I had, like, I think I, to start with, I had like a 39 BMI when I was at like 221, and I lost down to 193, and that was pushing it. My surgeon's office used my original weight, but they, you know, my insurance approved me immediately because I had like five comorbid conditions, sleep apnea, diabetes, high blood pressure, a heart stent, um, <clears throat> I'm, I have cirrhosis. I have non-alcoholic cirrhosis of my liver. I've ha I've been in kidney failure before, and simply and that it, it all has to do and all of it. All I mean a lot. I mean everything's inherited. I ha I mean I have both sides of my family. It's bad. When I went to my cardiologist, he was like, "You're kidding me." Yeah, we got to do an arteriogram, and we did, and 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 that happened when I was like 49 or 50. Um, I had a stent uh, put in in 2007, so that tells you that I had some major issues. But I'm off all of my medicine now, except for the Plavix that I will always have to take because I have a stent. That's really the only prescription prescription drug that I take now, except uh, for my insulin, and hopefully that's going to go away. So um, that's kind of my tracking. Um, like I said, average. I gave you the averages of my calories. I, I I pretty much get in a ten to one ratio of protein to to calories. Some days it's a little less, but most days I'm right in there, and I always get in at least sixty four ounces of of protein or sixty four grams of protein a day, and usually more. Um, but that's how I track. Um, I don't know if this has been boring or if it's been helpful or, you know, other things that I eat on a regular basis and I just didn't this week because um, I did the hamburger and that, you know, that kind of lasted for a while. I do chicken. I do chicken salad. I do the canned chicken from Walmart that, that people have. Put a little mayonnaise, eggs, a little, I have the sugar-free um, sweet pickle relish. I put, sometimes put apples in there. I sometimes put celery in there or celery salt or celery flakes or whatever. I do that. I do chicken breast. Um, I've done the um, Atkins um, frozen meals, which I found to be really good if I, if I need something quick. They are a little higher in sodium, and I, I try to stay away from that. But uh, most of the time, if I cook once I'll just kind of freeze it or if it's like a soup thing, you know, I just kind of eat it all week, which I wouldn't used to do. But, And I do eat steak and pork chops a lot because they go down. Actually, steak and pork chops went down for me and did not get stuck before chicken would. I mean, right after surgery when I got to the point where I could eat things that were solid, I started with chicken and it got stuck every time. But I'm to a point now where I can, I can eat pretty much anything as long as I chew it up. Okay, this video is 14 minutes long. I never intended for it to be that long. Okay, that's my tracking, and this is, was a response for Jennifer. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's helpful in some ways. Have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.